I want to show you guys this. I have said my <laughs> before on this loser, but we're going to talk about it, okay? Uh, Nick Merckx is at it again. Nick Merckx is blaming Apex for not getting the invite to the Pro League. Uh, so here's a couple of things. One, implying that the LGBTQIA plus education is dangerous uh, slash harm students leads to the negative stigmatization of those people. Two, why are you complaining about not making it to PL off of an invite? First things first, if you're complaining about not getting invited to a tournament, okay, that's some loser like mentality, okay? Your KDA sucks, okay? You're not posting sick clips, all right? And the only thing people know you for is the amount of negative space in your face cam, because God, oh. dude, center yourself. And two, you being a oh. conservative idiot. Didn't that guy get arrested at a Bass Pro Shop this weekend? <laughs> yes, Nick Merckx got arrested at a Bass Pro Shop for diving into the Bass Tank. So let's hear it. I mean, I, like, just put two and two together. Like, uh, Apex is a very uh, pro, you know, fucking gay, pro, trans, pro. And look, I'm not anti, but I'm not. Aww. Aww. Are the gays in your video games? No. Mom, there's a gay in my video games. Not in the front of the parade doing the high knees either. You know what I mean? So live and let people live. But I mean, we, we clearly have a, a difference in opinion, you know, across the board. So, I mean, if you're expecting them to give me an invite to their pro league, I mean, bro, I'd be so surprised if that ever fucking happened. You come across very anti, but I'm not anti. I made that extremely clear. Even, dude, even someone in the chat's like, you come across very anti. Secondly, again, I, I have to point this out. As someone who does have, like, neuroses of, like, this kind of shit, if you are, like, slouched in your chair, man, like, imagine. Imagine for a moment if my camera setup was like this just all day, Okay. Bro, listen, yeah, just because my KDA sucks and, you know, I, I had all my fucking promos taken away from me because of my, my anti-trans rants doesn't mean I'm anti, okay? 5'11 versus 6 foot. <laughs> I'm just saying, think of the kids, right? Right? Dog, he said his, uh, he is scared his kid becomes gay because of the schools. Yeah, and you want me to take it seriously? Here's the thing. Who the fuck are you? Here's where I draw my line. Who the fuck cares about your line, man? Here's a better question. Who asked about your line? He's a Spartan, Graham. Oh, my bad. Listen, they can have rights, but I draw the line at uh, me having to acknowledge their existence. Yeah. Kind of like the... I think parents should be teaching their kids about stuff like that. Dude, like what? Like what? No, th this clip starts out with him talking about like apex legends having gay and trans characters overwatch has gay characters right overwatch has so many gay characters and not because they are written that way because the community made that canon the overwhelming like fan base made uh like uh like mick hanzo they made Hanzo and McCree gay for each other. They made Tracer queer. They made uh, Symmetra autistic. Like, those fanfics became part of the lore. Apex and uh, uh, Valorant went out of their way to do representation, right? That's the difference between, like, acknowledging your fan base and, you know, doing things for your fan base, right? But, like, do you think that a 12 or 13 year old who's playing apex legends when they see that character come up on screen is going to be like oh wh what's going on what's happening what, what do you think like the the, the gay like molecules are going to like get into their body and they're just like, uh, uh, what's happening to me uh no no ah uh! Weird thing, man. Weird thing happening. Uh, women, uh, gay people, trans people, they fucking play video games, okay? Turns out there's more than one market demographic for video games, alright?
The gay and trans community aren't exclusively playing like, you know, Life is Strange and Hearts of Iron and uh, Fallout New Vegas. Important gay news. Hashtag gay, hashtag lesbian, hashtag bisexual, hashtag pride, hashtag kissing the homies goodnight. I, uh, see, it's not a rainbow. I told you it's not gay, bro. <laughs> uh, that's great. Oh, I'm saving that. When it's up to the schools and teachers that you might not know. Bro, you're too much of a pansy. You are too much of a puss to even say what you believe with your full chest. How are you going to talk to your kids, okay? How are you... How am I? Okay, let's let's pretend that I'm an uh, like more of an idiot than I already am, right? And I just believe Nick Merckx, right? I just believe that Nick Merckx is an honest actor who just, you know, uh, has like a, a principled stance on uh, parents educating their kids about like queer existence, right? Let's pretend. You can't even say what you believe with your full chest. You can't even talk about this without being uncomfortable. So how, how are you going to talk to your kid? Also, by the time that your kid is like interacting with, you know, multiple gay kids or trans kids at school, they're going to know about this clip. Okay? You only need to be 13 to have a Twitter account. Okay? And they're going to see their dad being homophobic as shit. It's so wild when homophobes say they want to teach their kids about being gay because homophobes only think about homosexuality in the most purely graphic sexual terms. Yes. You think this man knows what the fuck, uh, like, coder shocks are? No. Alright? There is more to being gay or trans than, like, just the sexual aspect of it. Because, again, like you said, it's the only, like, element of being gay or uh, queer in general that they can comprehend. It's just sex. And also... That's the only way that they can imagine, like, you know, relationships with, uh, in, like, heterosexual, uh, dynamics. Because, like, what's the, what's the, uh, the question that everyone, every, every like, you know, homophobic or, or, like, uh, you know, sheltered person asks whenever they meet a gay couple, so who's, the, who's the wife, you know? Both, bitch. What? What do you mean? And it goes back to what I always say about, like, parental rights, especially in regards to, like, sexual education. Nick Merckx, I guarantee you, doesn't know what the fuck a clitoris is. Okay? This is the type of dude to, like, give, like, two minutes ahead and be like, Did you come? You good? Alright, can I smash now? He has a Michigan helmet in the back. No shot he ever pleasured a woman. I, Alright, football fans, y'all are doing inside baseball now. Oh, they're giving a lot of money. Oh, no wonder he's, uh, feeling like he's got a say in this. Uh, pro, you know, fucking gay, pro, trans, pro. Don't ever say it ain't profitable to be a reactionary, chat, all right? Don't ever let anyone tell you that, like, being a, a reactionary shithead, regardless of what, like, you know, influence or space you're in, is not profitable. $25 and then, like, a thousand while he's on a, a anti-trans rant. Well, look, I'm not anti, but I'm not in the front of the parade doing the high knees either. You know what I mean? So, live- Not yet. Not yet, bitch. All right? I promise you, one little uh, kiss the homie goodnight session, and I promise you will be doing dead drops. We got motherfuckers in pro leagues in, like, uh, Overwatch League, uh, uh, League of Legends Worlds, Apex uh, competitions, Smash Bros competitions, doing sexual assault out here, all right? Being homophobic as shit, still getting into the leagues. What's your problem, dog? Oh, yeah, branding, all right? Looks like uh, posting on main how homophobic you are, not good for your brand. I like how he keeps saying anti instead of having the balls to say homophobic. Right. Right. He's a little bitch, dude. He's he's bitch made and that's the takeaway, okay? 